So let me ask you this. I, I have to ask this now. Yeah. Do you think it's okay for a man to tell a woman what to do? Um, it depends. When you're dating a guy that you really like, that you see seriously, yeah. are you looking to be physical with other men as well? No. That's and my point. Yes, but then I'm taking a risk as well, right? But, so you, but the difference is, you don't have the desire to be sleeping with one guy tonight, a different guy tomorrow, and a different guy the next day. Yeah, I don't. Right, but men do. So and that's why it's a sacrifice on his part. Yo guys, welcome back to another episode on my channel. I'm sitting in this spot, which means, which means, I've got a great conversation lined up for you today. You know, on this channel, we like to talk about all things dating and seeing what we can do to attract the kind of relationship we want. So without further ado, Please welcome Rose to the show. Welcome, Rose. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. She's telling us this is her first podcast, guys. So we're going to be mean slash nice. Yeah. <laughs> Please be nice. Always. No, always. You know, just chat about dating. Yeah. Um, well, I'd like to jump straight in. So first, tell us your age or your age range, asking her lady her age. <laughs> and one thing a guy should know about you if you want to take you on a date. So I'm 28. Okay. Um, and... I mean, I'm not really interested in um, dating at the moment. Like mm. n guys approaching me because I'm quite content on that side in my life. Okay, lies. Like, yeah, as in you've got someone that you're content with. Yeah. Okay, yeah. she's taken, fellas. Sorry, <laughs> she's taken. I mean, today I'm content. Like I'm happy. And <laughs> she's taken for now. <laughs> she's taken for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I hear that. Well, let's say let's say you were single and you were open. Like, what's one thing a guy, if he's interested in you, it's like okay, he needs to know this about me. Mm, I think. Um, you know, because I see a lot of people, for example, mm. um, when I walk on the street, yes. like they look at me and obviously it's like they're interested. Sure. But I, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, no, because I'm quite complicated for them, I would say. Okay. In what sense? In like my mentality could be very different, I would say. Really? Yeah. Like like how? Like, for example, like when, I, when I was single, it's referred to back then yeah i was single for about three years okay because i was choosing to to be single okay like i was having opportunities to you know date people and all that mm. but i wasn't seeing men really interested in knowing me more what do you think they were interested in um well, some men were very direct like they they i i knew they you know just wanted to get me in the bedroom sure so it was like, you're not even investing the time to mm. know me. Yeah. And for me, like my body is like very important. Of course, body is a temple. Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah, yeah. So it's 100%. like, I won't feel comfortable, you know, giving myself to yeah. a guy. Just like, oh, we just met, we have fun. I know that that's why I'm saying I'm a bit different because I don't know. I, and I don't judge because... When I spoke to some of my male friends here in the UK, yeah. they're like, oh, but it can really work out. Like, you know, it's, yeah, I'm not judging. Like if-, if It can really work out if we sleep together straight away. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course. Um, I mean, I think it's, people should do what feels right for them. Yeah. So I always, cause even when I was speaking to women, mm. I was like, look, if you've, wake up next day and you're not ashamed and like you don't have a guilt in mm. yourself like for me it would be a lot like i would feel myself i would feel bad yeah. so i'm like i don't want that yes and but if i'm if a guy invested in me and like we have a relationship and you know you and you want to experience this with this person because you feel like it's going somewhere or yeah. you know um but maybe that comes also from you know like i come from a family that somehow like that there's this voice in my head that feels like what if my family finds out or what would they think of what i do mm. so in my head it's a lot like my family is there so it's like you're almost thinking about what would this do to the family name if they knew that I was like out here moving this way? The and what name, would they think about you? Yeah, the name, but also like, I don't know. It's, it's having, I grew up with a respect for my dad uh, mm. quite a lot. Mm. So it's like, you know, having that respect for him. Yes. And the, 
how he raised me. Like it, I'm like my family are still together, like my parents. Yes. Um. So, but my dad had a big influence okay. in in the aspect of uh, morals. Mm. And like he spoke a lot to us. Principles, ethical. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So I think when I came to London, those principles, mm. you know, to the principles of of this modern world yes. seemed a bit different. Okay, how, how different? And for those of us who don't know, where have you come from? Where so, was before London? I'm half Romanian, half Turkish. Like mm. my dad is Turkish, my mom is Romanian. Always grew up in um, in Bucharest, in Romania. Nice. But every summer of my life, I've been in Turkey. Okay. So okay, nice. yeah, but I would say like I I'm more the Romanian side because I grew up there. Yeah, of course. Um, but mentality wise, I'm more inclined into the Turkish into the Turkish mentality so, so what was yeah. the difference in terms of maybe morals and principles from there coming here okay so um there it's more I think men are more into uh, marriage mm. like if you date someone back home yes. and you're with that guy yeah it doesn't take him long for him to speak about marriage Interesting. When you say not long, like how long? Well, until he falls in love, I would say. Like, it depends. Like within the first few months? Yeah, I think it can happen. That's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I know people that got married very quick and they're very happy together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but here in London, mm. and so, sorry, going back to uh, those men in back home. Yes. Um, which, obviously, I, I think... You know, it's there can be men that are not that serious there as well. Of obviously. course, I won't. Want- Those men are everywhere. <laughs> exactly, um, but I would say the that percentage of men that you know speak more about marriage, um, they would start saying things like, "Oh, I want you to be the mom of my kids," or mm. you know, "When should we plan the the marriage?" Um, like they they date with intention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's more normalized there. Yes. Uh but when you come to London, I would say, you know, I mean because it's so normal back home, you mm. don't even think, well, it'd be you know, different. Yeah, you will, won't even think like asking the guy if he ever wants to do that mm. because you're like, oh, it's normal. Like it, it will happen because yeah. yeah but yeah, when you that. come to London, you find that you might be in a relationship. But that's enough for them, kind of. Interesting. So when you say like you're in a relationship, as in like you've been in a relationship with them for a year, but then you find out they actually don't want to get married at all or? Yeah, or maybe they do, but I feel like it's harder in, in, uh, not UK, but maybe London. Because I've heard Mm. in other smaller cities, men are different because maybe they have less options. That's uh, an interesting say. observation and probably quite accurate. Why do you think it's different? Well, I mean, Bucharest is, quite, is a city, right? Yeah. So why do, why do you think, what do you think makes London different? Why do you think the guys are different here in comparison to back home when it comes to being marriage minded? Well, I think there are several factors mm-hmm. um, that I can speak a, a lot about it. But first of all, Yeah, I do understand it's quite hard in here. Like, Mm. you know, you have to make a name. It's more competitive as a man. Very true. Like when you're looking to get married, you want to provide and be in a stable Mm. situation yourself. So I know that when you're with a man, there has to be some stages. Like a man first has to, you know, go and find himself, you know, like have a career. And Mm. then he will start thinking about the next steps like having a girl marriage and all that yeah but um i think yeah in london it's a bit harder because you're not only dealing with the men Mm. mentality is the friends is the families Mm. so back home i would say like men 
they might have families that would be like, okay, so when are you getting married? Or, you know, you're 30 now, like get married. And yeah. so it's a, a lot from the families. It starts from the families that men start thinking, okay, I have to, to start doing. Yeah. yeah, but maybe that's not actually, is that a good thing though? You know, should people get married because their family are pressuring them to get married? No, I don't think they do. But then it's also considering like seeing it as oh it's a good thing not because i've been around some men mm. in uk like that they're my friends mm. and because i'm quite uh, relaxed to speak to men in a friendly way like i'm more friends with men than women like i don't know why you don't it's know why it's easier for me to connect with a man than mm. with a woman that is interesting. Yeah. And you have no idea why. Like what what's what's women what are women's response to you when you first meet them and you're just showing companionship to them? Like what is it? What, what why do you think they don't take to you as well, much? I like to to see myself as a nice person to yeah. whoever I meet. Yeah. Like yeah, I, yeah. I feel like if I'm nice to you, obviously my own response would be to be nice to me, back to me. Like of that's course. what I expect. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but some women, like, I don't know, I, I didn't really get it, get a good response from some women, maybe mm. not, uh, not, not immediately, yeah. but in time, I just sensed the vibe there. What and, did you sense? Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say because, you know, I don't, I'm not really jealous on women, but I felt it from even and sometimes I was like but why why are women jealous of me like I'm a nice person and all that mm. but I, I think you know we we might be jealous on people I got to understanding of that because we feel like something's like it reminds us of something that we are lacking mm. or oh like Facts. yes or oh I like if you are not where you want to sure and that girl is where, or is representing something that you would like to be. Is yeah. it can be quite natural to be jealous. Do you think the jealousy comes from your career or from like your appearance? I would say appearance. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. since I was very young, even in school, yeah, I was judged by my teachers so i had to work even harder oh, to really? yeah once i scored like maximum points on uh, on a test yeah and they told my mom that they didn't believe that i actually deserved that what that grade yes because i'm too beautiful and then they made me <laughs> i know i know the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard i know and my mom is my best friend so yeah. she always understood me and she's seen me as always um, learning. So I was quite good at in school. My mom never really had to worry about me. Yeah. So she knew like, oh no, but actually she works hard and she 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 got this great. Yes. Um, so then the teacher tested me and she made me repeat the test and stay in the first That's anti-beauty privilege. I don't know what you call that. That's, that's, that's beauty oppression. <laughs> So she said like That's she so weird. I've never heard I know. that before. And she wanted to to have me under her supervision for the full test. Yeah. So then I scored full the full points again. And she was like, okay. And then she apologized to my mom. So that's how we found out how she actually I know this was a woman. Yeah. She said, I'm I so wonder sorry. If it was a male teacher. I wonder. I don't know. I never. Curious. I mean, as a kid, you're yeah, like, of course, you wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't think. Yeah, about that. like, yeah. why would you judge a kid's beauty on its intelligence? You know. So for me, that bit marked myself. That could even be. So it's funny because a lot of women who like, if they're conventionally very attractive, it's quite common that they don't get on with other girls. Yeah. And it's a lot of the times what you said, because maybe they look at her and they feel, oh, she represents something that I'm trying to achieve and doesn't make them feel good. Yeah. Sometimes it could be, you know, because men and women, we compete for each other, right? Yeah. So it could be like, they see you as competition. Um, sometimes it happens in terms of what you think. Sometimes it happens where they're like, okay, you're either going to be their enemy 
or you're gonna be their best friend. Yeah. It's like one or the other. It's like you're extremely close or like, nah, we fucking hate her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I think like before, uh, like a few years ago, I yeah. had, I was facing quite a bit of uh, difficulty connecting with women. Mm. But lately I've been more open and, you know, so I quite, I also feel like when you're connecting with um, another social like when you when when you're in gatherings like that with different kind of people, yes. that's when you can meet better people. So sure. I found more healed women in those mm. kind of societies when they had more things going on for themselves. So it was almost like they didn't them comparing themselves to you didn't make them feel bad about themselves, and so they were open to connecting with you. Yeah, I, I just feel like generally, yeah, they were quite nicer. I don't know if it was only a mask or not, but I get that. It, it came across well when I interacted with them. I get that. It's it's so interesting because you know the story about with the teacher marking you down because you know of you being attractive and stuff like that. Yeah, it's funny how there's there's a there's pros and cons to everything, and I think a lot of people. Um, even maybe guys and girls would be like, oh, you know, she's an attractive girl. Like pro probably people give her all this opportunity, give her favor and stuff. Um, but it's a double-edged sword sometimes having a level of beauty privilege. Yeah. Um, one it's example harder. is those guys. Would you say it's harder? Yeah. Why would you say that? Would, would you, would you? It's painful be being beautiful, I would say. <laughs> it is, it is. I'm not saying there isn't is. a price with it, but would you rather be average looking than be attractive? No. Okay, well, <laughs> come on. Like, do no, you know what because I, mean? I take the pain, you know, and it gives me fuel. Sure. And I actually, I, I think everything I achieved until now, even like graduating from architecture, mm. for me was something that I had to achieve because, you know, it's like I have a diploma, I have a um, degree. Yeah. So people, I proved to people that I'm not only a pretty face. I'm not just a pretty face. Yes. I and it pushed me forward to, you know, work harder. I get that. I get yeah. that. So I guess the harder part is that when people see you, immediately they attach a lot of your value to your aesthetic. Yeah. As opposed, and maybe they don't care to look at the other things that you've done. Yeah, so as well, um, I think, you know, going back to men, yes. like when they see me and, you know, I like, I'm quite um, religious, like mm. with religious views and mindset. And, sure. But I like to dress up and, you know, look sexy and- She likes be, to look modern. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be modern. Of course. Um, which my family like a bit sees me as uh, quite- very modern. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I quite have a battle with them in a way because I, <laughs> I, I am really pro being being modern. Like I don't because I like it as well. Like in my physical appearance. Sure. Uh, but when it comes to men dealing with me, mm. I think that when they get to know my mind, yes, it's like a shock for them. It's a disconnect. Yeah, because you yeah. don't you present something that is different to what maybe your mindset is when it comes to dating and love and relationships. Yeah, because they would think, oh, this girl, you know, she's so open. Maybe she she would go on on dates, like she has so many men and, mm. but it's not actually the reality. Yeah, so actually this is one thing I was going to ask. So it's funny how you're like, oh, having an element of beauty privilege has, not helped you make friends with women. Yeah. But also I'm kind of surprised, or this is what I guess I'll ask is, how has it been with having friendships with guys? Because usually guys can't be friends with really attractive girls without wanting them. So like, <laughs> uh, like <laughs> it sounds, <laughs> sounds bad, but I'll just be honest. I don't think guys should be friends with women that they find attractive is the truth. Yeah, I don't think either. Do you think your male friends find you attractive? Um, maybe, but so lately I've been more connecting with my male friends that are friends with my boyfriend. So mm. I feel comfortable with that nice. because it's like, look, uh, it's his voice. Yeah. So obviously that even if 
I don't know. I don't want to think even that they would even fancy me, but is you know, I don't think they do. Yeah. So th that's when it's easier because, yeah, and we have quite a lot of conversations, mm. like his single friends. Yes. Whenever they come to, to us and we have conversations, yeah. open up to me and like tell me what they do with women. Of course. Yeah, I get that. Because you're, you're like one of the boys now because you're with him. Yes. But as well, before me being in a relationship, I always was with um men like um mm. having male male friendships okay so i was as i said i was single for three years and yeah. i used to work in a bank in mayfair yeah and there like a lot of customers used to actually ask about me yeah um, and they were like oh we really like her and who's this girl can we and my male friends in 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 my workplace um they were like oh you know because they knew i'm single mm. they were trying to date you to date me yeah like not not them specifically but make connections with the clients for me like oh you know this guy asked but in a nice oh, way right. yeah but i was very uninterested because yeah if for me a, a lot it, the looks matters as lot as well okay. maybe it's not very good but hey, you like what you like yeah so i never f like i'm very very pretentious when it comes to my men okay so tell us about that like what is what does a guy have to bring for you what does he have to look like all of this stuff so i like a for me i like a really good looking man okay are we talking like yeah like he's a model no no i wouldn't date a model <laughs> they're like the best looking men what do you mean I like a, a man that is handsome, but I don't like Not him. Not pretty. No, oh, yeah, but having another career because I'm a lot in the public eye and, I'm, and I like this life, but I wouldn't want my men to be like an actor or... Interesting, why? Because I'm a... I'm quite a jealous person. Like, if I'm being totally honest, I'm quite a be jealous honest. person. That's very honest. And if I like... So you don't want him to be in the spotlight or you don't want him to be getting a lot of attention? I mean, I, w I wouldn't be able to take the feeling of seeing my men kissing another woman, for example, on, on TV, even though I know... Okay, that's an actor. What about like a... like uh, like You're like an influencer, right? Like model influencer. Yeah. So a guy like that. So he doesn't have to be kissing other girls to be a model influencer, but he's in the spotlight like you are. I think it's quite harder with the uh, with their mentalities. Interesting. I don't disagree, but say more. Why? Yeah, because this kind of men, you know, they if they don't get something from you on the spot, mm. most of the time, like you can be very attractive and very beautiful, but they would go to someone that feels like it's more accessible. That is true. Yeah. If so, they're just looking for fun, that is true. Yeah. Like maybe it's a shocking thing, but actually even when I was single, yeah. I was seeing that men, I really believe that men are quite um, smart. Like, I don't know. Like <laughs> men know if you, if you're unapproachable, you know, like I always mm. thought because like I never got the, like someone approaching me, for example, to, you know, like they approach other low value women, let's say. Okay. So, but maybe sometimes we were dressed up and I'm not saying it's, it's correct because there maybe now I'm starting to think I should dress differently because people judge it differently. And, but sometimes maybe I was, you know, wearing my um, mini dresses cause I love them. Yeah. But uh, I was... I thought I was judged the same, but actually no. Like I, th I feel like men were seeing me as different. Okay. Yeah. So without me telling them. Okay. So would you say they were seeing you as high value woman, a high value woman compared to like what they would see a low value woman? Yeah, I think so. What do you think the difference was? The way maybe I carried myself. Okay. Yeah. So like the energy, you know, how, what was that energy that you would say made you come across as oh this kind of woman is here for example now i don't go clubbing that much anymore but mm. when i was younger because i love music i love dance yeah, so yeah, yeah. 
that for me was the environment then you know to to do all that like music for me is like my drug sure so i love that but um i feel like women go clubbing for other reasons and you know like even if i go to dance and um and have a good time yeah. they go there with other intentions and like for example they jump on men's tables mm. they want the drinks mm. like if the man doesn't give her a drink um they go on to another table isn't that the kind of the same thing as what you described men doing though like if if a guy doesn't get what he wants with a girl then he will go to another girl who will give him that sexual access do you know what i mean like a girl's going like oh can i get on this table can i get a drink can i get this attention oh you're not going to give it to me i'm going to go somewhere else yes but then cuz i'm actually having a debate myself as well to be okay. to be completely honest yeah, yeah, yeah. like i'm quite i like analyzing mm. so i'm lately i'm analyzing the london dating scene let's okay. put it that way how how would you describe the scene right now um a mess <laughs> <laughs> i don't disagree it I is a mess disagree. it is a mess because especially for a girl for example that she like if you cuz i i hear a lot of my male friends yeah. they complain about women like oh they're trash and you know like i want a good woman like every man wants a good woman mm. but then it's like oh he want he would like to meet this church girl to get married but then what what is he liking on instagram and what is he going after it's very true like for me and you know i listen to this man and like in my head i'm like sometimes i don't want to reply to them because um like i really was very careful of how i tell it to people and i i wanted to make my homework and you know mm. and just analyze first you know yeah. like and i had myself some questions but i yeah so i think like men want this kind of women like mm-hmm. a good woman that is a church girl and you know will stay home and be perfect but then they are going for women that have you know one night stands yep. and like my fr- my male friends used to tell me that you know oh i have this girl coming over tonight and yep. tomorrow i have another one and mm. and but it's so shall i tell you what it is yeah those girls that he's like on instagram and they're coming over that's just for play for him he's not taking those girls seriously Okay. So the other girls where he's like she's a bit more reserved, she's, you know, not out here doing the most, right? Mm-hmm. When he's ready to settle down, that's the kind of girl that he'll choose. Yes, but will he ever be ready? And second of all, I I think if you're so used in going with a girl every night or every weekend you have another girl. Yes. Then when you meet that girl mm. and you are in a happy relationship you won't be you won't be able to be committed to that girl because it's about choices. Yes, so essentially he would have built an appetite for having sex with different women so that when it comes to committing to one girl he'll struggle to not fulfill that appetite, right? Yes. Yes. You're right. What I would say though, and this is why I say it's when he's ready to settle down. Yeah. When he's ready to settle down, have kids build a life with a woman that he's like, I want to build a foundation with this woman for our future. Yeah. If him indulging in that lustful lifestyle is a detriment to it, he will sacrifice that because this means more. It doesn't mean that he won't desire that or have desires for that but he will sacrifice it because this means more. Cuz a lot of the time most men, if there's a kind of guy who has options and he can go out and date different women, yeah. Becoming exclusive is a sacrifice for him. For women it's not seen that much as a sacrifice because generally, and correct me if I'm wrong, when you're dating a guy and yeah. you're being intimate with him and you like him, you're not mm-hmm. out here trying to have sex with different men. Yeah, but if she's a good-looking woman with options, yeah. She's as well saying no to men not that, sexually though sorry not sexually so what i mean is like i would say for myself 
Okay, so when you're dating a guy that you really like, that you see seriously, yeah. are you looking to be physical with other men as well? No. That's and my point. Yes, but then I'm taking a risk as well, right? But you, so, But the difference is you don't have the desire to be sleeping with one guy tonight, a different guy tomorrow, and a different guy the next day. Yeah, I don't. Right, but men do. Yes, but it's and all- And that's why it's a sacrifice on his part. Yes, but I think it's also about um, choices and- It is a choice. Yeah, it, it is. It is a choice. And that is true. I don't believe that, you know, a man that sleeps with a woman- every weekend or ev like uh, another woman sorry but yeah. another, has like several uh relationships and one night stands mm. long term it won't lead to anywhere good because they will be they will be lonely and sad and i do believe mm. that because we are made for connection like, i okay i agree with you mm -hmm. i think it happens more when women operate that way, they feel lonely and sad. And the reason I say that is because it's much easier for guys to separate emotions from sex than it is for women. So for, so these guys who are just having sex very casually, one night stand here, hooking up with girls here, having yeah. sex with them is like going to the gym. They're just working up a sweat, right? Yeah. They're just having a fun time. Yeah. It's not that they are looking for connection, they're just having a lustful experience. When they're looking for that connection, then they'll be like, okay, this is, I'm going to take this girl seriously. I'm going to invest in this girl. Yeah. And ironically, I know you're like, when you came to this scene in London and stuff, like you wouldn't be having sex with guys straight away. And they'd be like, okay, cool. I'm out. I'm going somewhere else. Yeah. When he's looking for a relationship, that's the girl that he wants. Like, let me ask you, have you ever had it where a guy who was looking for a relationship, he was ready. He then came back and then tried to like get with you. So every man comes back to me. <laughs> of course. But, but why? Why wait until you lost the girl? To Because, you know, it's like I'm the kind of person that yep. I give, like I try to have this modern view and, and I really tried to adapt to the UK dating scene. Yep. And it's very different. Like sometimes my mind is like, this is not normal for us, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm having a but battle, and I had to. I went to, and I I went to therapy. Mm, um, not a lot, but I went once. I paid for a therapy because it was too modern what I was dealing with. Yes, um, <laughs> it was too modern. <laughs> so I was like, I need, I need some professional <clears throat> uh, view on this yes. and how I should should um deal with this situation yeah uh, but then i do a lot of education as well from podcasts on youtube so if if i am free one day this is what i do in my free time yeah because i want to understand the modern the mindset but yeah and the men and the women i love that because i really believe in um in marriages as well i understand yeah so i think what i've seen in in uk is that men are not really going towards that or are not very you know educated in marriage like for them it's not a priority that it's, it's much yes it's it's definitely less of a priority yeah right? um but in answer to your question, why would guys wait until they lose the girl to then come back to her? Yeah. Because when it comes to men being in relationships generally, mm -hmm. when it comes to a guy getting to a relationship, timing is important. Yeah. So he could meet you, but maybe he's not ready to have a relationship. So he's like, well, I'm not ready to have a relationship. He sees you as a relationship kind of girl. So he's not going to pursue that yet. Yeah, but that girl won't wait around. Of course, and I'm not saying she should. Yeah, <laughs> but that, but that's, but that, that's the risks that he takes. So yeah. if he comes across a girl, attractive, she's like relationship material. But he goes, I'm not ready, so I'm not going to leave this. The yeah. risk he plays is okay. When he is ready, maybe she's with someone else, and it's your loss, bro. That's part of the risk. Yeah, right. Yeah. But the reason, the reason they come back is because they get to a point where they are ready for a relationship and they go, oh, I remember, I remember meeting that Rose girl and she was, she had all the qualities I wanted. I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. Yeah. Hey Rose, like, how are you doing? Let's catch up. And you're like, sorry, I found the man that I want, but thanks for the offer. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So that's why, because it rarely happens. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen often where a guy's in a 
frame of mind where he's not looking to settle down or have a relationship, then he meets this girl who just changes his mind. That, that hardly ever happens. And I think yeah. a lot of girls try to be that girl. They're like, oh, he's not ready, but I'm going to try and change his mind. I never try to change a man. But that's the smart, that's the right thing to do though. Yeah, I never, I never tried. And even in my relationship now, yeah, like I give a lot of trust and I think like you have to, because it's quite, for a girl like me, it's quite difficult mm. because for example, coming into UK, you have to give maybe sometimes you have to give a bit of freedom. So for me back home, there wasn't that freedom. As that in for you or for the guy? For in the relationship, I'm meaning freedom, like, you know, things like um, going on a lad's holiday or sure. back home, like that's not really what people do. Is it that's not appropriate for a relationship or just people just didn't, it wasn't part of the culture to go I on a lad's holiday? I think it's just something they don't do. First. Yeah. But here is is something that people do, like men do. Yep. So I kind of try to understand, okay, like if, because I think in a relationship, you have to understand your partner and yes. okay, so, so what makes you happy? Mm. Like, what would you like? Because that, I think, you know, communication is key. A hundred percent. So I'm I'm the kind of person that I don't like to, you know, change a guy or like um, tell him to do something because I don't think you can tell a man what to do. Like maybe he maybe like he's speaking a male language right now. <laughs> no, but I do believe that. Like I think if I would go to a man and be like, no, I want you to do this and do that, and I don't want you to go out. No, it's like a kid. He will want to do that. He will run from you. So let me ask you this. I, I have to ask this now. Yeah. Do you think it's okay for a man to tell a woman what to do? Um, it depends. Okay. On what? So it, it depends what it is. Because, for example, I am the kind of woman that I would listen to my partner mm -hmm. if I believe that, okay, yeah, I think he has a point mm -hmm. and he's actually saying it for my own goodness for your own benefit yeah sure. for my own benefit so i really i'm as i said i'm the kind of woman that as well believes a woman should be a woman and let the guy be a guy mm. you know yeah but as well i have as i said i have this approach and i you know i ask my partner like okay so what would happiness be for you because mm. i tried to understand like how can we work out even yes. if we're completely different mentalities yeah that's it's really it's really good to have that kind of mentality and yeah for you to be like look i want to try and make this work so where can we make compromises for each other that we're willing to accept yeah do you know what I mean? what's uh what's a compromise you're not willing to accept i don't know if this is a compromise or not but i wouldn't accept cheating okay yeah, I wouldn't accept cheating. Is cheating lying? So, okay, so what, what I mean is this. Let's say you've been dating a guy for a couple of months. Yeah. And let's say you ask him like, oh, have you slept with anybody else? And he goes, yes, I have. But you're not, you haven't established a relationship. Is that cheating to you? Um, I mean- You could not like it, but I'm asking, is it cheating? I've never been told that, but for example- Let's put it in another perspective. If mm. let's say I find out that he had, he slept with other women or they approach me and tell me about what he has done before me, like before that date when I knew in my head that, you know, he took me out and asked me to be his girlfriend. Before he asked you to be his girlfriend. Yeah. You're right. Um, but I, I was never really in a situation where like... I've been told something about a guy, but we're not in a relationship like me and that guy. Sure. So, so is it for you, if you're not in that relationship yet, you're kind of like, well, then that's fair enough. I've I've never put myself in a position like that because I was quite serious with, in in my life. So, mm. uh, but I mean, you weren't in a relationship from the first date, like with your current boyfriend, were you? No, but as I said, yeah, maybe, like I never thought about that. But for example, I know the date when we started being 
official. Like I was taken taken at a restaurant yeah. and asked to be his girl. So how from the first date to that point, how long was that period? <laughs> It was quite quick, like one month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in that month, if you had slept with someone else, would would that would that be like you're out, or would you be like, okay, well, we weren't technically in a relationship, so it is what it is. Um, because he might have. You just never asked, right? Yeah. So he technically might have. You just don't maybe know. I wouldn't be that annoyed because he wasn't that invested, maybe into me, yeah. or he was just getting to know me. Yes. Um. But then, if someone tells me what he has done before me, like I don't really mind that yeah, because yeah, it was course. before my relationship. Yeah. But yeah, I think you know it's also. Um, I don't really all, only blame it on men. You mm. know, I I feel like because it's so easy to say all oh, men are trash and all that, mm. but then it's like, but us as women, what are we giving them? Big facts. You know, it's like if, like there, there are a lot of situations, um, and I hear this a lot about you know women complaining about their men liking other girls' pictures or oh, yeah. social media, and yeah, and in UK it's like you know maybe some men wouldn't want to commit into a relationship and even think of changing his ways because like oh well if if you don't accept that like i'll go tomorrow and find another someone who does. yeah someone else yeah um which which is quite hard because it's like if if he wouldn't have all those low value maybe options yeah. he wouldn't deal like that so m maybe men would be more keen to Take a girl serious. I, I know what you're saying, and I agree. If we know that men seek out sexual opportunity, yeah, and if it is easy to come by, right, then he is less likely to take women seriously. If it is easy to come by, now it's easy to come by if he's a desirable guy, but it's not easy to be a desirable guy, and it's harder, I would argue, to be a desirable guy in somewhere like London. Compared to like a small country town, because like you said, they don't have many options. There's not as much competition, so a lot of the time, what happens is a guy fights to be a desirable guy here, gets his looks on point, money on point, status, confidence, all of this stuff, and because he's worked so hard to finally be the kind of guy who has options, yeah. he's like, well, I want to enjoy the quote unquote fruits of my labor, right? He wants to enjoy being in that position where he has options because it's so hard, especially in this kind of environment for a yeah. guy to be desirable. Does that make sense? Which is why I said timing is important because when he's ready, then he will choose. Yes, I do believe that for men, that's why, for example, I wouldn't, I wouldn't date younger guys like with a younger mentality because I- <laughs> Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Because I feel like, guys need their times to go explore you know have their like become a man a, a true man yeah, you know yeah. with some experience and then he will be able to be different in a relationship um but then again it ten, like it can be a younger man mm. that has like strong mentality 100%. and and so i i wouldn't Maybe I shouldn't say a younger man, but a I, younger I think there's exceptions man. to every rule, I think. And, you know, those who know me, I'm an example because an ex of mine is actually nine years older than me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, wow. So, like, <laughs> even though I would agree, like, if I was talking to a female friend or even my sisters, I'd, like, generally don't go for a younger man, even though in some cases I've been the exception. Um, but I also believe, you know, like, it's all about choices. Yes. Like, it's about as well men you know let's not promote like what are we rewarding nowadays mm, you know it's like because it's both ways like i'm in a i support women and men like i, I want to see happy relationships and everything but it's like yeah so men what are we rewarding because if you give value to to girls that you know are in the sex industry and you know like a, a let's say a 
plain Jane. Um, <laughs> oh, no, but that one. if a plain Jane wouldn't be noticed, like she, she's a good woman. She's, you know, she, she stays home. Like, I see what you're saying. Yeah. A and, good woman, average good woman. Over yeah. There. She, yes, it I would be you. so hard for her nowadays and yeah, it's true. to be noticed. I, I agree. And to have options. But then, you know, and then w- men are, are saying, well, women are trash and all that. But you're paying for some level of women and you, you're going to that. But then you want your women to be an angel. Yes. It's you like know? The, the culture we live in right now is men are rewarding the type of behavior that they say they don't want in a wife. Yes. Yeah. And I completely agree. And so if those guys, if you have those guys who are entertaining those women and investing in those women, they can't complain like, where are the good women? Because like, you're not choosing them. Right. And I'd say the same for women. But what I would say is that if he knows a woman who is like that, when he's looking to get, when he's ready, he always goes back to her. Almost always. Will he ever get ready though? Because as I said, I have a lot of um, male friends and the peer pressure even at 35 years old let's say yep. when maybe they should be ready for marriages and talk about other things yep. then uh, with what girl you like how many girls you have per night or oh my god sharing pictures of this hot girl look at her body or you yeah. know it's like well I would expect at that age, like no offense, but honestly, it's just, it's just, a, it's just an observation that I'm seeing I don't, throughout the men because I yeah. see that they're quite, they're quite, um, they're quite suffering in a way, I you understand. know, to find good women and maybe sometimes blaming women. But as well, you know, it's like, where where's your focus as well? I agree. Mm-hmm. I think a big part of it is what you said earlier. Yeah. Because it is harder to have, it's harder to be financially stable. Yeah. It's, it's harder for men, for people in general, but if we're talking men, it's harder for men to provide, provide a foundation for a life that a woman can enter, right? Yeah. So like for example, like most people in London, they rent, right? And they yeah. rent with multiple people. Mm-hmm. If they're looking for some to start a family, ideally they wanna have their own spot where they can bring someone in, okay? Yeah. It's way harder to do that. I think now in the UK, I think the average age of somebody like buying their first home is 34. That's the average age, right? Yeah, 100 it is years hard. A, 100 years ago, it was like 21. Yeah, right? it is hard. I'm not going to lie. Exactly. So I think for those, guys, for those guys, it's like, well, if they're not in a position where they've provided that foundation yet, they're like, well, I'm going to have fun until I get there. Well, no, because you could be with a girl, Yep. you know, and th- that's also women, because I think it's also what we are, tro- what we are putting on men because it is hard as i said and, yeah. I, and i agree with that it is hard for men and you know there's a lot of pressure you have to provide and i get it it's like you know a man has to be a protector like protect you and uh, we women we love that obviously sure. like give them women a man that you know has these values and she will say no obviously not but the thing is like if you as a woman as well, it's our, it's our uh, part to blame as well, because um, if we as women, we would choose to stay near men as well that- um, Have potential. Yeah, have potential. And maybe he's not, you know, paying all your bills and he's not like a guy, I don't know how women expect in Dubai. But yeah, no, yeah. I, I agree. I think what, it, what men see, is that women are choosing the men who already have that foundation. Yeah, so, so guys think, okay, well, I can't get that girl. I can't be that serious until I, I'm, I'm there. But there are also women that I want to believe then, because I'm one of them, True. that would stick with the men that has potential. He's on a way, you know, on a journey. That's true, there are there. So, yes, but maybe, you know, like there are some men that maybe also damage those kind of good girls as well. I I think that's true. I think I think that's true. I think they can damage that kind of girl because maybe he's in his play phase. Yeah. And then he but he doesn't communicate communicate that to her. And then she thinks he's ready for something serious and then that doesn't happen and then she gets hurt. That's true. That yeah, and as well, and you know, I between my male friends I've heard like if you have a guy that he's 
trying to settle down with a girl and he's actually um parting from his friends group of friends they start calling him names like oh we lost him he's yeah and yeah. you know it's like why are you doing that because i actually love that like i love i it. think i think it's just taking the piss they don't, they don't really they don't mean it in a malicious way because a lot of time how guys will bond with each other is they'll take the piss out of each other do you know what i mean they'll be like oh well he can't come out because he's whipped by his girl now and blah 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 but actually if he came to his boys be like yeah i'm having issues in my relationship the boys be like oh well, like what's going on do you know what i mean yeah a lot of guys so i think that's very tongue-in-cheek i don't think it's intentionally malicious but won't they influence him to put him in some environment where there would be other women and you know obviously i'm not saying okay you you can go out and have your fun and i i really believe in a relationship you have to have a bit of um breather yeah yeah some so, space yeah so to give the the men the time to you know connect with some male energy but then if you do it very often and you're in environments that so here's the thing. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But that environment isn't as attractive, right, to men in relationships. And I'll tell you why. Because in those environments where men are going out around women, men are footing the bill. So yeah. it's like men are paying for the tables. Men are paying for the drinks. They have to do the approach. Yeah. Right? So if you're in a relationship as a guy, you're not going to be doing that because you already have someone at home. That environment isn't attractive to you anymore. Yeah. Right. Because you're you're not, as a guy for most guys, they're not benefiting from that environment. They're actually spending more than they're getting for the majority of men. Yeah, and then does it that make sense? Yeah, it does. So it's that that environment. I know what you mean. Like, you know, being around those kind of friends and stuff. But that environment for guys is more costly. And so if he's in a relationship where he's not going to get anything back, he's like, why would I put myself there? It doesn't make sense. It's a lose-lose. Exactly. And I also think it helps like if he has a girl that believes in him. So I think- Very true. Yes. If he knows in his head, like, look, my girl trusts me. She, like we are quite content in our relationship and everything is fine. Um, he won't be like, you don't have to worry about those girls in that environment yeah. because even if he, if they approach him, he won't, he wouldn't be reciprocated. Exactly. Be and so if you give him freedom to do those things, it won't be that appealing for him. Exactly. S exactly. It's so, very true. and as well, you know, I feel like it also comes down to the woman to like, if you're in a relationship that you have to, maybe it's not that comfortable for us, mm. you know, like for me at the beginning, it wasn't that comfortable to give this freedom. Yes. But then I said to my, I just had a conversation with my son. I was like, okay, just know who you are. You, you, you are different than those girls and you know i believe in my partner and i believe in and myself he chose, he chose you for a reason yeah right? but so, there's yeah. a lot i think women should as well do an inner work mm. and like be very secure in who you are yeah because if you have the confidence and just like okay i have the faith yeah. and if something happens i'll be okay exactly but that, yeah, I think you, and that will help you a lot to give the men a, a healthy space yes. where he can, you know, do the things that makes him happy. And hopefully one day he will feel like, I don't want to do those things anymore. Sure. Um, and, and you just focus on things that, you know, help you, your inner soul and like just invest time in yourself. I and then, agree. you know, that your partner won't you you won't need your partner to be happy but he mm. will be like a bonus like An you want to exactly 100 like you will agree. want to connect with your boyfriend or your man and be like oh so how was your night yeah. it's all good but it i think it's a journey to get there it is it is yeah. it's a constant you know take it step by step yeah. um listen we're gonna wrap it there you know, <laughs> thank you for sharing your energy with us today thank you for um, the invite if people want to find you on instagram where can they find you on rose the ceo rose the ceo well guys yeah. go show rose some love <laughs> uh go give her a few likes give her a follow but obviously she's not about the guy in the spotlight so if you are in the spotlight <laughs> this isn't the one to shoot your shot with um but thank you for coming on we appreciate you for coming on today thank uh, you. guys thanks for tuning in and i will see you in the next episode